As a programmer, I think it's important to understand job control. And what is job control? Basically, it's about controlling jobs from the shell. Perhaps you might think it's less important when we have machines that have enough memory that can spin off new shells every which way. But perhaps you're working in an environment that's memory constrained, like a remote server or something. You're not always going to have the tools you want available. Therefore, let's go over a few basic things about job control. You start, as always, with the manual. In this case, I'm using the corn shell. So we have to check the KSH man page. If you're using Bash or ZSH or some other shell, check your respective man pages. So job control refers to the shell's ability to monitor and control jobs, which are processes and groups of processes, yada, yada, yada. It keeps track of the status of background jobs that currently exist, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can read all of this if you want on your own time. Foreground jobs can be stopped by typing the suspend character from the terminal, normally control Z. So actually, we can try that. Actually, uh, since I'm using Tmux, I have my prefix bound instead of to control B to control Z. So I have to do control Z plus Z. So anyway, so we've suspended a process, but we can see that it's actually still there in the background, man KSH. We can also tell by typing in jobs, and that will let us know what jobs we have suspended or running in the background asynchronously. And we can bring this job back to the foreground by typing FG. And you know, it's as if we, uh, we never suspended it. We can also have it run in the background, though I don't think this actually does anything. Because if we type jobs again, we can see it's still suspended. So let's try and see how this works with some other process. We can actually write our own uh, bin sh. And then let's just do a while loop. And we'll just echo hello world and then sleep for a second. And then, of course, we need to chmod plus x on the script. And then we can run it. And then it, you can see it prints hello world and sleeps for a second, then prints hello world again. So what we can do here is suspend it by typing in control Z. And you can see I have multiple jobs suspended. I could bring to the foreground the man KSH command by typing in FG percent one, and that brings that back up. I can also bring into the foreground whatever is on the top of the stack, in this case, man KSH, by just typing in FG without any identifier. I can also run the background of the job that I just did on um, test.sh by typing in bg% 2 and you can see it's just printing out hello world and then sleeping for one second. So let's uh, check out the jobs. We can see it's running. Let's say we want to kill that. I guess we would try fg% percent two, and then close. And that stopped that process. Well, let's actually, uh, it's a little bit noisy. So let's just increase the sleep time by five seconds. Something we can also do is start the script in the background by ending the line with ampersand. And all this does is you can see that it's printed out a little job number there. If we type in jobs, you can see that it's running. We can bring that into the foreground. Oops, not that. Foreground percent percent two, and then control Z. And now it's suspended. And we can see we have man ksh and dot test dot sh. Both of these processes are suspended. So if we bring the man ksh to the foreground, and something I want to also go over is the fc command or fix command. 
basically this is used to like view the history of your commands or to like repeat your old commands. And actually it's, it's an alias to a lot of different commands. So like if you say alias R, that is fix command dash S, which basically just repeats the command. So if we do, let's say foreground, and then we do R, it does the exact same thing. And indeed you can see that it repeats the, the command here. And if we do alias history, we can see this is alias to fc-o, which basically just lists all the commands uh, that were inputted. So if we do history, we can see these commands in the history. Anywho, something else that's interesting is that you can't actually exit uh, the terminal if there are commands in the background or actually stop jobs. As you see, it says you have stop jobs. And you can see if we type in jobs, yep, there are some jobs there. So Let's clean this up a little bit, uh, type this in the foreground and then quit. And then we can see we have one more job left. So we put that in the foreground and we just close out of that. Now we can probably exit from this terminal, which I'm not going to do. Anywho, those are some of the basics of job control. If you have any questions for me, be sure to check out my website, josephcho.com. Catch me if you can on Twitter, GitHub, Reddit, and all the rest. This is not goodbye forever, only goodbye for a little while.